Welcome back to the Wonder of Easter video introductions. We're going through the five key moments in the Easter story, and today is the last one. But don't worry, if you've missed the other ones, we have a YouTube playlist full of them all, which you can find somewhere. Today we're looking at one of the happiest goodbyes ever. Now, normally goodbyes are pretty easy, right? You say goodbye to your friends after school and then you go to your mum and dad climb into the car. And sometimes goodbyes are really sad. Maybe when your grandparents leave after they've had a wonderful stay and you don't know when you're going to see them again. That's pretty sad. Today in, in the story, we're going to see how Jesus says goodbye to his disciples. Last week we looked at the death and resurrection of Jesus. How his disciples touched his scars, fed him some food, and Jesus really is alive. Jesus was back, and he gave his disciples some instructions about how they should live. And then they were ready, and then he left them. He went up into heaven. His disciples were so happy. That's a bit strange. They were happy? That's a bit surprising, because normally we're sad when someone we love leaves. But his disciples were so happy because they understood why Jesus had to leave. He went up into heaven from earth because he had done what he came to do. He came so that we could trust in him and be saved. He'd done that job and then he was going to go to heaven and rule there as king. That's why Jesus' friends were so happy when he left. Because they knew that he was in heaven ruling. He was in control sitting on the throne. Jesus was king. But wait, there's more. Jesus had promised to send down the Holy Spirit to help them. We can't be in more than one place at a time. Kate, would you come and give me a hand please? Sorry mom, I can't come right now. I'm busy with something. You see, I can't go and help my mom because I'm busy filming this video. Just like Jesus, when he was on earth, he could only be in one place at a time. But the Holy Spirit can be with us all. He can be with me here in Hermanus, and he can be with you wherever you're watching at home. So Jesus went up and his spirit came down so that the spirit could help us in a new way, that Jesus could be with us in a new way, helping me, helping you, helping anyone who trusts in him. That's why his friends were so happy, because Jesus would be with them in a new way. The spirit would be helping them live their lives and walk like Jesus wants us to walk. Jesus deserves all our praise for what he has done and what he is doing. You see, we are cared for, we can be delighted in him, we can rest in him, and we can trust him. Our king is ruling on the throne. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you are our ruling king. Thank you so much that you sent your spirit to come and be with us in a new way. Help us to trust in you as our Lord and our Savior and as our king. If you have any questions, guys, about anything that you've learned or about anything else um, during this time, please send me an email. Here's my email address down below. Um, we'd love to get in, in touch with you and answer your questions. Thanks. Bye.